Death of the Milkman by Carlos Drummond Driandragi, translated by Richard Zenith. The country's short on milk. It needs to be delivered early. The country's full of thirsty people. It needs to be delivered early. There's a saying in this country that the only good thief is a dead one. And so before the break of day, the young man who's the milkman makes haste with his milk can to take good milk to bad people. His milk can, his bottles, and rubber shoes announce to sleeping men and women that someone woke up early and came from the outskirts to bring the coldest and whitest milk from the best cow. So everyone will be fortified for the hard struggle of city life. The white bottle in his hand doesn't have the time to say all that I ascribe to it. And the unschooled milkman, who's an employee of the dairy, a resident of the Hua Namur and 21 years old, has no idea what an impulse of human empathy might be. And since he's in a hurry, his body leaves only the merchandise on the doorstep of each building. Given that the back door might also conceal people who aspire to the little milk available in our time. Let's walk down that alley, enter the hallway, and set down the bottle, without making any noise, of course, since making noise solves nothing. My milkman, so nimble, graceful, and light-footed, doesn't walk, he glides. But he always causes some slight noise. A wrong step, a flower pot in the way, a dog barking on principle, or a contentious cat. And someone always wakes up, grumbles, and goes back to sleep. But this someone woke up panicked. Thieves infest the neighborhood and wasn't going to waste time. The gun in the drawer jumped into his hand. A thief? This gun's for him. The shots in the night liquidated my milkman. If he was happy, if he was good, if engaged, if a virgin, I don't know. It's too late to know. But the one who shot him lost all his sleep and ran outside. My God, I killed an innocent man. A bullet for killing burglars can also rob the life of our brother, whoever wants to run can call a doctor. The police aren't laying a finger on this son of my father. No harm has come to the property. The general night continues. Morning is slow to arrive. But the milkman, laying there in the open air, has lost his former hurry. Something thick is trickling from the shattered bottle on the now quiet pavement. Milk or blood, I don't know. Among the hazy shapes, barely liberated from night, two colors grope for each other and softly touch and lovingly embrace, creating a third shade that we call dawn.